What's up everyone and welcome back to a Saturday morning pickups video. It's been quite a while since the last one and there's kind of a good reason uh, for that. I haven't spent a lot of money on video game things or like collectible type things um, in a while and there's a reason for that because Daniel and I were saving some money to go on a trip this, uh, this summer to our um, friends to the north up in Canada. We're saving some money to go up to Canada and um, that's why I haven't really bought that much stuff. But I do have some that I've picked up since the last video. Not really a lot and there's not a lot of video games so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, if you were coming to see like a video game pickup there's uh, I guess you can technically call it two video games in this little batch but for the most part it's not video games. It's kind of video game related and uh, nerdy geeky kind of related also so um, let's go ahead and we'll start with this we got something let me stop rustling the package we got um we got something made uh, t-shirt wise that we plan on wearing um, this summer to Canada and they are some pretty nice little t-shirts I have to admit and they look like this Let's see if I can Get this in there with the design and stuff. There we go. So obviously it is made to look like um, to look like an old black box Nintendo game. Um, but I thoroughly enjoy the design of it, and I really like the way that it looks. <laughs> you all might have seen some of our other videos where we're wearing some of our our own T-shirts, and. Uh, Really, we just get these made in like quantities of two for for me and Daniel just to wear because we uh, we don't really sell our t-shirts. Um, we don't really have a market to sell our t-shirts, so we just kind of make them for ourselves. But should you all want one, leave a uh, leave a comment down below or holler at me over on Twitter at underscore vgbc underscore, and we can set something up to get you all one. I know. Uh, 2-Bit Jesus out there, he's got, he rocks one of our shirts in one of his videos, and that is really, really cool. Put a link to his channel um, down below as well. So, thank you 2-Bit Jesus for representing Video Game Book Club. We really appreciate it. Uh, next up is, is, is the video game. Um, ooh, hit the microphone. Sorry about that. It's the video game, and it is... Star Fox, ooh, glare. Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard little... Uh, package. Um, to be honest, I haven't even, oops, haven't even like tore the cellophane wrapping off of either of them yet. They are still both uh, sealed. They're both sealed shut. Haven't uh, haven't opened either of them. Um, so I can't really give a uh, judgment call on whether it's good or not, as I haven't opened them yet. <laughs> Um, but I do have to say right off the bat the one thing that does bother me Hopefully you can see this is the fact that maybe you can't um, Star Fox guard Its spine is off-white and the rest every single other Wii U game is solid white and Star Fox guard is like a cream so I leave them in this box because that's the way that I want it since it's not really the same color white. And why, Nintendo? Why? You couldn't just. Ugh. And then you all might have seen a uh, tweet recently or an Instagram post that I put out there of a certain mug while I was editing a video, and that is actually this mug. My Pokemon 20th Anniversary um, Pikachu mug. Uh, I just really, I like the design of it. Um, if you can see it, and I'm sure you all have seen the logo by now for the 20th Anniversary, but it's all the starters from all the generations, just all the different starters making Pikachu's face. And um, that's pretty cool. Like there's Pikachu, you got Charmander, you got Bulbasaur, you got Chikorita, um, you got Cyndaquil over there. So it, it's a lot of fun. There's Totodile. Uh, there's all of them are in there. I named those six because those are the ones that I know. So 
Sorry, I'm a Gen 1 and a Gen... Gen 1-er and a Gen 2-er. Gen Doser. Yeah, that's it. And next up, we've got uh, something that's not Nintendo related at all, which is super weird when you look at everything that's behind me. Um, and it's actually not video game related at all, but it does have some video games. Uh, anyway, it's something else that I like to collect, and like I need anything else to collect, but it is the Harry Potter Funko Pop Figures series. Um, there's a lot of pop figures, I know that. The only ones that I go after right now are the Harry Potter ones because I love Harry Potter. So I've got the entire first series, and now the second series has come out. And while I don't have all of them yet, I did have to go out and I had to get the exclusives because there was four. And if you don't get the exclusives now, then um, they become a lot harder to get down the road because people that want them have them, people that bought them to flip have already flipped them to the people that want them, like myself. Um, but I keep hitting the microphone. Anyway, uh, so there's two Hot Topic exclusives and then there's a Barnes and Noble exclusive, and then there's a Barnes and Noble pre-release exclusive. So I don't have the pre-release exclusive yet. It's in the mail. It's on its way here. It got delayed uh, for whatever reason. U UPS's website doesn't tell me why, which is super awesome, but it doesn't. Uh, so here's the Barnes and Noble exclusive Harry Potter pop figure, and it's like the fourth Harry Potter in the series. But it's him with his um, with his sorting hat. So if you can see him there without the glare and stuff, he's got his sorting hat on, which is pretty cool. So he was Barnes and Noble exclusive. Um, I looked all over, like all BarnesandNoble.com. You couldn't order it from, um, but I went to a bar local Barnes and Noble. Didn't have it. Went to another one. They had tons of them. So he's he's still out there. Uh, if you want him go Barnes & Noble local store, you should be able to find him pretty pretty, pretty easily, but make sure he's there before you go and waste your time. Now the Hot Topic ones, um, I, I unfortunately ventured into a couple Hot Topics looking for these, and I did eventually find them. Um, they're kind of buried. They didn't really have them on display for like everyone to just go out and grab. Um, but here is one of them and it is Cedric Diggory. So, oh, stupid glare. Anyway, there he is, Cedric Diggory. A Hot Topic exclusive. Um, now, I know the Hot Topic exclusive ones do disappear after a while, and they usually don't show back up. Um, at least that's the way it was with... Um, was there a Harry Potter exclusive one there last time? Yeah, there was one of the... I think it was Quidditch Harry Potter. No. Harry Potter with the Sword of Gryffindor was Hot Topic exclusive. And, yeah, <laughs> had to get that one. Um, and then the other one is Draco Malfoy uh, with his Quidditch uniform on. So he's got his broom and his little Quidditch outfit, and there's what he looks like on the inside. Um, so, yeah, the, the pre-release exclusive from uh, Barnes & Noble is Neville Longbottom, and he's actually, like, right down here. Um, it's my cell phone. Got a text message. Um, so he will eventually be released, you know, outside of Barnes and Noble. But for right now, he is only available at Barnes and Noble. Um, for the most part, Barnes and Noble in store sold out. But you can still get him online, which is how I got him for like nine fifty. Um, I think I had to pay shipping, plus shipping. So he ended up being like twelve bucks or something like that. Where at FYE, if you go to FYE, they have a they usually have a deal on these pop figures, but they still charge fourteen dollars to start with. So you're not getting that in better of a deal because Barnes and Noble charges like nine fifty. So if you can get them at Barnes and Noble, I say go to Barnes and Noble and do it. Except for you know the Hot Topic ones that you have to go to Hot Topic for, and that sucks. But what are you gonna do? And the very last thing that I got is actually a group of things. And once again, if, uh, if you follow us at all on any of the social media, you've probably seen this out there before. Um, there's a new line of Amiibo coming out. And it's not the Splatoon series because that's not really new. That's just reskins except for Callie and Marie who are new. So however you want to treat that, 
is what it is. This is actually to go with a new game that's coming out. It's the new Kirby game. So I got the new Kirby Amiibo. I actually imported all of these from uh, Amazon Japan. Uh, they ship directly to the United States now. So that was pretty awesome. There for the longest time, um, Kirby actually was unable to ship to the United States when the other three could. But on release day, I went and checked it out and all four of them could be shipped to the United States. And I went ahead and ordered all of them and they were about 950 shipped. So 950 times four is how much I paid to have them shipped from Japan to America. Uh, which makes them a lot cheaper than MSRP in the States. So I don't really feel bad at all about importing them and I will argue to import from Amazon Japan anytime if you want them early and for a fraction of the cost. So here's Kirby. All right, I'm not gonna unbox them right now because I don't have anywhere to put them. So I'm just gonna leave them in the box for now. And here is Meta Knight. And uh, DDD, King DDD, who looks like he has a really badly smashed face. Look at that. Look at his face. It's all smashed. And then we have Waddle D, who is really the only new character that they came out with in this because the other three have smash equivalents. But it's cool. I'm, I'm happy to have a Waddle D, uh, Waddle D amiibo now. They will all eventually be opened and put in with my regular Amiibo collection, but for now they'll stay boxed until I get into my new area. So with that, everyone, uh, that will do it for this Saturday morning pickup. And remember, if you want a shirt, let me know. We can make it happen for you. Um, there's, we've got a couple. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're not going to push our shirts onto anybody. Uh, they're just out there if you like them. If you like the design, I mean, it's pretty neat, right? 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 We'll be wearing these this summer along with every other video game book club shirt that you've seen us wear. Um, so we're just really looking forward to things to come in the future for our channel, for everything, for gaming. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.